is a touch of holiday magic about a cruise, even if it is the North Sea and not the Mediterranean that's glistening all around us. But we're set fair for sunshine, though the Essex port of Harwich is 18 hours out, and our mini cruise is about to come to an end. There's nothing in the name or the sleek lines of this modern 10,000-ton vessel to suggest its destination. Esbjerg, the west coast port of Denmark, is the landing point for motorists who are ferried across to this land of farms and fairy tales and hospitality. The people, strangely, seem to have even more affinity with the British than with their Scandinavian neighbours. And polser, pork sausage from a roadside stall, is a symbolic first taste of this country, because pigs, in whatever form they come, are a major export. Reber, just south of busy Esbjerg, is centuries away in atmosphere and architecture. The alleyways and half-timbered houses retain all the character of the past in Denmark's oldest town. And the storks, nesting above the cobbled streets, were here long before Hans Christian Andersen made them famous. The storks are an excuse for the first wish you were here message. There'll be much more to tell the folks back home about this land of 500 islands when this family finally arrive at their holiday destination deep in agricultural Jutland. The evidence of Denmark's farming efficiency is round every bend of the road and the Danes are so proud of their farms They've persuaded farmers to become boarding house keepers to English holiday makers who've come to sample some Danish hospitality on a farm holiday. This idea in international relations is very much a family affair. And if the language is sometimes a tongue twister, no one is likely to misunderstand a warm welcome. You, of course, take it easy while the day-to-day -day business of running a farm goes on just as before. But try explaining that to a four-year-old who's never seen a tractor parked outside his bedroom window before. You're really seeing this friendly country from the inside now. Though a simple job like rounding up the cows needs a farmer's touch. Even a pony ride demands concentration. But a tram ride in Aarhus, Denmark's second largest city, has the same freewheeling fascination for young and old alike. The old town at Aarhus is a reconstruction of the Denmark Hans Andersen knew. Over 50 buildings have been brought here from all over Denmark and rebuilt brick by brick as an open-air museum close to the city centre, for the Danes love to revive their past. Inside the houses, ancient machinery give the final authentic touch, but the signs of a craftsman's skill still hang above the doorways. You can still taste the gingerbread figures that are baked daily inside the shop down one of the narrow cobbled streets. The water mill may be static, but the fascination of Aarhus turns upside down at the Tivoli Fairground. By contrast, it's a whirl of spinning, swinging excitement in the best tradition of its big brother in the capital of Copenhagen. The fairground fun is flavoured with circus spectacular and a sky-high trapeze act which shuns a safety net. Denmark, and Jutland in particular, the many lakes, rivers and the long coastline are a playground for all ages. Sentiment, too, sails from Silkeborg. The Yalen, Denmark's oldest paddle steamer, has been making this trip every summer for a hundred years.
the beaches of Fane, once the scene of a world land speed record success by Malcolm Campbell, are now geared simply for holidaymakers. A bus service runs along this 11-mile stretch of silvery sand, but it's so wide and so flat that the incoming tide cannot flatten the child's sand castle. You feel as free as the wind or as free as a yachtsman with only the soft song of the sea for company. Of all the islands in this kingdom of sea and lake, only Jutland is joined to the mainland of Europe. Yet at Billund, there's an inland plastic island of charm and color and curiosity. Legoland, it's called. Built entirely from children's bricks, a dazzling advance on other model villages. The intricate detail of a tea party in miniature will remain to fascinate thousands long after all the goodbyes have been said at your holiday home. You almost feel one of the farming family now, but farewells must come. And farewell to the Danes is best said over a table of smurthbrot and pastries. Farm holiday makers will come and go. But for the farmyard residents, it's, as always, business as usual. In a country where bacon is bank balance backbone, pigs represent just another figure on an agricultural balance sheet. Who'd want to shatter the illusions of one little boy? Who's going to tell him they may end up like this one day? Refrigerated carcasses en route for England and the breakfast table. Half of all the bacon consumed in the United Kingdom comes refrigerated all the way from Denmark. Two modern container ships have been built to meet the demand, and a third is on the way. Even the passenger and car carrying Winston Churchill takes its fair share of tonnage. But there's still plenty of room for the home-going holidaymakers, reluctantly leaving Esbjerg. Just 18 hours to go. A consolation 18 hours, if you like, spent aboard this floating piece of Denmark. There's time to relive those holiday memories, time to reflect about farms and friendliness. 18 hours. Why, that's plenty of time for more Smurthbroth and schnapps. <laughs> <laughs>